Hello, this is Sophie Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on called the Poly Damage Add-on. And it pretty much does the same thing that the one-click add-on does. It just has different uh, a different way of doing it. It has a special feature in it that I think is kind of special, which is to remove damage from your model if you want to reverse the process. Now, I found out this add-on is not only for Blender, but it's also for 3ds Max, but we're going to just use it for Blender only. And it's for Blender 2.91 and above. Now, I'm going to uh, use this archway as a prime example. I want to see what it does to this archway. And I'll leave a link of it, of the add-on, uh, to download uh, in the description below this video so you can download it yourself and try it out. It's not a free add-on. You have to pay for it. I think it's good for the money. It's the same process once you've downloaded it onto your system. Go to Edit, then Preferences, and click on Install. And just navigate to where you've installed it. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that. And then once you've done that, completed that process, just go to uh, the Poly Damage pop-up and put a check in that box. And that activates it. So it's set and ready to go. Now, last time we did a test on the one-click add-on to showcase it, I tried it on this pillar that I made in Blender. I made this archway in Blender. So we tried it on the pillar and completely destroyed the pillar. I want to see what this add-on is going to do to it. Hopefully, it won't do the same thing. So let's uh, keep the parameters as they are and click on Apply Damage. And it does the exact same thing that the one-click damage did, which was to destroy the pillar completely. I still don't know why that happens, but apparently it does, so it doesn't work on every model the same. Once again, like I said before, the good thing about this add-on is that you can remove the damage. Let's click on Remove Damage, and it brings it back, which is great. Now I'm going to go to a series of models that I've already set up in Blender to use the Poly Damage add-on on, see how it does on those models. So I'm going to open that up right now. Don't save that. And right now, I've set, up, I've set up a sphere. It's just a basic sphere with the uh, regular amount of polygons on it. It's been smoothed out. Uh, the cube here has, uh, I, think, I guess the cube has six to eight sides to it. So we have our cube, we have Suzanne the monkey head. This is where the real test is going to really uh, take place. Because Suzanne, she's got a lot of uh, curves to her. I don't even know if it's a he or she, but the Suzanne has got a lot of curves to it. Um, eyeballs, brows, ears, uh, head, mouth, nose, and all that good stuff. But let's try this on the let's try the add-on on the sphere first. Let me click one to reposition my window and drag this over and scroll on my mouse wheel to reposition everything so we can see the sphere, what it does to the sphere. I'm gonna click on the add-on and keep the parameters as they are. And click on apply damage and let's see what happens oh and it uh, does a pretty good job in terms of applying damage to our sphere here and once again once you change the parameters it has relaxed parameter edge relax edge push the noise scale the strength of the noise the contrast of the noise and that you can change the seat also once you change any of these parameters you have to click on apply damage to apply those uh, changes to your model and let's click on let's increase the edge relax a little bit Left click and drag on the edge push. Apparently it only goes up to one, which is fine. Let's put it down to 0.79. Uh, let's drag up the noise a bit and the strength. The scale on the strength. Let's click on apply damage to see what that does to it. And it kind of reduces the damage somewhat. Let's increase the, res the resolution a little bit. Now I'm thinking that the more you, you increase the resolution, just like with any add-on in Blender, the resolution determines how polished in terms of uh, the detail in your model. So once you increase that, it's going to take longer to render out. So kind of be careful with that. Let's please increase our noise contrast, increase the noise strength. <clears throat> Excuse me. And apply damage again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, gives us a little bit more damage. So on, on a sphere, it works pretty well, which is great. Let's go to our cube here and see what it does. Left click on our cube and keep our parameters as they are. You can reset the parameters by clicking on that button there. But we want to keep them as they are and see what happens. Let's click on apply damage. 
might give us okay that gives us a good result that's once again increase your strength and increase in contrast and even increase the seed a little bit apply damage and yeah see that's the difference between this add-on and one click damage one click damage had had presets that you can apply uh, on your model just click on the preset and, and click on one click damage button and it applies that preset to it with this this does not have presets applied to it but it still does a great job in terms of creating damage to your models and like I said before the good thing about this add-on is that you can reset all reset all the settings at once back to the way they were uh, the default values and you can remove the damage if the damage that you're applying isn't to your liking now let's apply this to Suzanne and see what happens to her or to him or to it let's click on the Suzanne head keep the parameters as they are and apply damage yeah that looks pretty good uh, let's again can change the parameters again let me see drag this up a little bit supply damage that's a little bit much don't like that remove damage and that's it so yeah this is a pretty nice add-on once again like I said before it's for 2.91 and above and it's a paid add-on you have to pay for it but for the money it does a pretty good job of applying damage to most models like I said we tried it on the pillar that I created uh, the archway for the pillar it destroyed that for some reason but so did one click damage so I'm not gonna hold that against this add-on but for the most part it applies um, very nice damage to the models and like the one click damage with the one click damage it, it sets uh, up modifiers that you would have to apply to your model if you wanted to export it out of blender into something else but with this add-on because there are no presets it just applies the parameters uh, directly to the model and that's it there are no modifiers to apply which is good so that's uh, today's uh, Blender quick tip, the showcasing of the poly damage add-on for Blender. And once again, I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who, of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you in the next one. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos, and I thank you so much. All right, adios.